So I'm at the bottom of my quilt. I'm ready to quilt the very last row, and I realize it's going to finish just a little bit short. It's probably going to finish about there, and I really wish it were half an inch bigger. That would help it finish a lot better, because with this design, I really don't want to do a partial row down there. It's much too busy and with the big design that it is. So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of letting it finish, I'm just going to say back and go back into the pantograph screen. I can change the row back to one, but I do want to point something out. The reason that I'm able to do this is row one and row two are exactly alike. I, I haven't done anything to the second row other other than nested. I, I didn't change it in, in any way. So that's why this works, because uh, row one and row two are duplicates of each other. So change, um, change that back to one row, but you'll notice that the pattern height is seven and a half. So, um, and I really need it to be half an inch um, more. So after I change this to one row, I'm going to change the height to 8. I have to change them both there. So now both my pattern and my total height are 8. So this looks good. And I'm going to go into quilt. And I will be able to place my design corner placement um, and quilt and I don't think with this design that half an inch is going to really alter very much. I think you'd have to know to know. Something else I want to add is the reason that I wasn't concerned about doing a partial row at the bottom is because the overlap was so small. So that's why I wasn't worried about too big a gap at the bottom and, and needing a partial row. This is a Quilts for Kids where the backing is flipped over for the binding, so that's why I don't want to stitch off the edge with these. Um, another thing I'm going to do for the next Quilts for Kids, since all of these quilts are the same size and I can, once I save a pattern, I can use it again. And I like for the total height to be 15 because that helps me end like I want to. But I don't want to end with having to increase that last row again. So what I'm going to do, so right now we have all selected and have this step size on tiny and select size and I'm going to grow it just a little bit, just a little bit there. And... think we'll do move and let's see because I want it staggered up just a little bit more and then we'll do the second row You can kind of play around with this and shift it down until the tips are touching there so next time that that I use this pattern it will take up the full 15 so I'll get to the bottom and be fine and it is okay because it's nested that the row height is seven and a half but the pattern height is a little bit different so you can play around with this play around with the size and and the, the get bigger and get smaller icon these two are, are inactive in beginnings but you can play around with that and then you can play around with move and and be aware of whether you have all selected or just one row when you're doing size you want to make sure that all are selected so just wanted to point that out and now i will save this and then next time i want to use this design on a quilts for kids it will work perfectly